For this news just in, the state is reporting seven more people have died from the flu in Connecticut since last week. That brings the total to 119 this flu season. And so far, more than 2,400 people have been in the hospital related to the flu right here in Connecticut. Christian Cordero has been pouring through the latest data. She joins us now with a closer look. Christian. Keisha, Mike, DPH says, as you mentioned, seven more people died alone last week from flu-related complications. It is a huge number compared to what we've seen in years past, and it has hit one demographic especially hard. Of the 119 flu-related deaths statewide this season, 98 patients were 65 years old or older. Flu-related is the key phrase there. The senior population is more likely to develop severe or even deadly complications while recovering from the flu. Patients can get pneumonia, they can have a bad asthma attack, but also if you've had influenza, you are at increased risk of heart attack and stroke in the uh, short time after you've had the influenza. So what can you do at this point in the season? Alan Petrio told us she got her flu shot back in the fall and wasn't sure if it still works. I haven't gotten the flu since, so I think my immune system's built up to it, but I mean, it doesn't mean I can't get it again. That's because multiple influenza strains are circulating this season, according to the CDC. And while the CDC indicates it's better to get your flu shot too early than not at all, Dr. Virginia Bielek notes it does lose its flu fighting power within a few months. Some people might be tempted to up the efficacy with a booster shot, but Dr. Bielek isn't sold. There are no recommendations for booster shots, even in people who are older whose immunity is like more likely to wane. The best advice, she says, is still the most conventional. Kind of keep myself in shape and kind of eat the right things and kind of clean my hands. And so I stayed away from a lot of flu, stuff like that. So while Connecticut is officially past peak season, DPH's report indicates flu activity is still well above baseline for this time of year. And Dr. Bielik says the flu season can last well into April or even May. I'm Christiane Cordero, NBC Connecticut News.